Lesson 1. Pharmacy Calculation, Units and Measurements Lesson 1 will discuss the basic concepts of pharmacy calculation as well as different types of units and measurements used in dispensing medications. Throughout this course, we will use the term pharmacy calculation and pharmaceutical calculation interchangeably. Pharmaceutical calculation is an integral part of pharmaceutical science where we apply the basic principles of mathematics into preparation and administration of various formulations. Formulations are the dosage forms we compound or are supplied by manufacturers. Examples include normal saline, which is 0.9% sodium chloride, 20% zinc oxide ointment for a baby experiencing diaper rash, and 1 gram of cefazolin to be administered IM. As you can see, these are all numbers, and pharmacy calculation is the branch of knowledge that makes you a master on determining those numbers accurately. The medication that your patient receives must be safe in the first place. Remember, the right drug may still kill your patient if given in wrong dose. That is why, pay utmost attention and diligence while solving any pharmacy calculation problem. Units the International System of Units or SI units are used in the official system of units used by the U.S. Pharmacopoeia and National Formulary NF. This system is also generally known as the metric system. In metric system, we use 10 and its multiples to express different grades. For example, milligram is obtained by dividing gram amount by 1000. One tenth of a liter is called deciliter. Two other systems that you should be familiar to are apothecary system and avoirdupois system. Now, apothecary system. Apothecary system is the original system of measurement of medications. It uses units such as grains, minims, drams, and ounces. Apothecary's fluid measures are given in the following table. Minim is the smallest unit and it is expressed with the letter M and as you can see the tail is little curved. It is also called the Scorpio symbol. Then dram is written with the Latin letter named Ez which is also called tailed Z. Ounce is written with this symbol looks like Ez with an additional cap. Since we're talking about fluid ounces F is used as a prefix. Then we have pint, quart and gallons you will need to remember their relationship. For apothecary's measure of weights, we have the following units. Grains is written as GR, not just G. G is gram used in the SI unit. Symbol of scruple looks like a backward E. Then we have ounce and pound. Ounce is written with edge with an additional cap. Roman numbers are used along with apothecary's units. Let's do some practice. Express the following using Roman numerals and appropriate symbols. 12 grains, 32 minims, 60 drams, 9 ounces. 12 grains. The symbol of grain is GR and 12 is written as 10 plus 2, which is X and 2 I's in Roman. 32 minims. 32 is 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 2. And minim is the letter with M, but it has a curved tail just like this. 60 drams. 60 is written as 50 plus 10, which is L and X. And then the symbol of dram is edge. 9 is written as 10 minus 1. That is why I is written before 10. It becomes IX. Then the symbol for ounce which is edge having an extra cap above. Now, avoid duper system. Avoid duper system uses pound, ounce, and grains. Grain used in avoid duper system is the same as grain used in apothecary system. In this system, 16 grams make one ounce, and then 16 ounces make one pound. You should be able to convert milligram to grains, and then milliliter to fluid ounce. 
Remember this relationship. If you see grain unit in a question, first of all convert that to milligram. Likewise, if you see fluid ounce or pint or quart or gallon, then please convert to milliliter to perform the calculation. The relationship is 1 fluid ounce equals 29.57 ml. Although in many cases people write as 1 fluid ounce equals 30 ml, please use 29.57 to be more precise in the calculation. Otherwise, you may see wide variation while working with large numbers. Prefixes in the SI unit The following are some subdivisions. All of these are smaller than 1. Nano is 1 billionth or 10 to the power minus 9. Example, plasma concentration of drug is nanogram per ml. Micro is 1 millionth or 10 to the power minus 6. Example, microgram of a drug per ml. Milli is one thousandths, or 10 to the power minus 3. Example, milligram, milliliter, etc. Centi is one hundredth, or 10 to the power minus 2. Example, centimeter. Deci is one tenth, or 10 to the power minus 1. Example, deciliter of blood volume. We actually don't use a lot of multiples in pharmacy except kilo. Kilo is 1000. Kilogram is 1000 grams. I want you to understand that million is 1000 thousand. 1000 has three zeros after one or 10 to the power three. That is why one million has six zeros or 10 to the power six. Billion is 1,000 millions. In other words, thousand, thousand, thousands. That is why it has a total of nine zeros after one or 10 to the power nine. PPM and PPB are the units used to express a very low concentration of anything. For example, the quantity of heavy metal present in the tap water in an area may be expressed in PPM. The presence of pesticide in the imported food may be expressed in PPB. They mean parts per million and parts per billion respectively. We will have calculations involving PPM and PPB in later discussions.